The World Cup season begins with a quality field of 198 riders competing in the one-day Milan to San Remo Classic in Italy. It's springtime in the self-styled fashion capital of Europe, and the home teams are fielding powerful lineups. Evgeny Berzin leads a gay West playbus team in the state of transition after a series of high-profile departures. Number one ranked team, Mape GB, are also well represented, while the self-styled Lion King Mario Cipollini will be hoping to add a first classic to his burgeoning role of honor. A demanding 294 kilometer slog to the coast should keep the riders in the saddle for up to eight hours. The real sprint comes eight kilometers from home with the famous ascent of the Poggio. Gaywis Playbus used Berzin as a domestique as they chased down early breakaways. They also have Stefano Zanini, third last year, in the firing line. But it's Gaywis's Gabriel Colombo instigating a four-man breakaway 25 kilometers from home. His biggest threat is Motorola's Max Chiandri, but the Ukrainian Alexei Konchenkov and Michel Kopelilo are no sludges either. The 23-year-old launches his final attack just one kilometer from the line. The move surprises the sprinters to give Colombo his fourth and biggest triumph in his second season as a professional. Coppolillo follows up his second place at the Terreno Adriatico with another good performance in Milan. Colombo's victory came as a surprise even to the rider himself. I didn't believe I could do it until right at the end. It's thanks to my team manager. He convinced me to attack from further out. You were exceptional. You attacked a lot of pressure, then you kept on attacking. I wanted to run a good race in order to honor my team, which has always supported me.